Hello, it's Courtney with the, and Jasper with the Highly Sensitive Fat Ass here for day five of my love notes. So yesterday's love note, I had mentioned that I was feeling conflict in my relationship. And so, you know, being real, I have been married 16 years. There is going to be conflict in my relationship. Sometimes it's not always unicorns and bubbles and sunshine and puppies. It can be hard sometimes. And what I want to share with you is simply leaving you with this question really of what are you focusing on? What is your perspective currently of what's going on in your life? So if you're feeling struggle with something, if you're you know, struggling in your, in your business, if you're struggling in your relationship, you're struggling with your kids, you're struggling with maybe a parent or anything in your life, um, where there is struggle, there is usually a perspective shift that can happen that can really open everything up for you and to use there are a couple analogies here that I'm gonna give you one is like the one I give to my kids all the time I talk to them about you know what color glasses are they wearing and we always heard we've heard this term rose colored glasses and I really like this because it just makes things so simple you can either be wearing you know your negative glasses where you're really focusing on the problem you're focusing on what's not working you're you're noticing everything that's bothering you you're irritated all all that stuff is really seen through this lens of what's wrong and what is not working and so shifting things around can be honestly as simple as doing what I call a positive focus exercise or putting on your rose colored glasses where you start to see things differently and through a different lens through a different perspective so literally the situation doesn't change but how you're viewing it shifts everything and the reason this works so well and I teach this to my clients constantly is because it works and I did it in my marriage yesterday I really was having you know I'm a very human human being and I had been focusing on the things he was doing wrong what I wanted him to be doing that he wasn't doing hey Jacqueline um, and I was really focused on like all the problems I was focused on the things that I didn't think were working I was I had forgotten to look at any of the good that he brings to the marriage I'm so sorry I'm totally throwing him under the bus I love him dear <laughs> dearly but to be real and it, the thing is it wasn't him it was all me and so by shifting this I just sat down and I journaled for like half an hour and first of all I owned all my part in this I owned my role because I think very often we have this idea especially in relationships that if they would just do whatever we wanted them to do, do A, B, C, blah, 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 then we could be happy, or then the relationship would get better, or then something would improve. Mm -mm. The, the first step is to really take ownership of it and to take ownership of how you're viewing it and, and really look at your own role because the, only, the, the easiest way to see shift in anything is to focus on yourself. So I took ownership first of all, and then I just started really listing all of the amazing things about him, about what he's doing, and it shifted everything. And it's really truly incredible how quickly this can happen when you get in the hab habit of doing it. It can be, you know, sticky touch and go for a while. So I want to ask you, you know, where can you do this in your life? Where do you need a perspective shift? What can um, change in your relationship to how you're viewing anything? And try that exercise. Just sit down and start A, owning how you're currently viewing things. And then B, move into, you know, what can you, ch what can you shift? How can you see things differently? And um, it all comes honestly too down to gratitude and finding appreciation for the thing that you're struggling with. So um, Jasper and I, do you see Jasper? He's very, very busy today in the garden running around. Um, we are sending you lots and lots and lots of love. I'd love to hear from you. So please comment below and I'm thinking of you and I hope you have an awesome day. Bye.